Hey y'all, welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. Today we're going to learn how to play Something by George Harrison and the Beatles. Let's do it. Ukulele Wine Time. The chords you'll need for this song, so let me start with the verse section. You'll need C, C major seven, C seven, also known as C dominant seven, F, D7, G, with an optional G7. Then we need an A minor, A minor major seven, A minor seven. We need an E flat. And that's all the chords you'll need for the verse. Okay, and now for the bridge. And you're like, oh my gosh, you're going so fast. I'm gonna do a full chord review at the end. So if you need a slow, walkthrough of how to play these chords, where to put your fingers. Check out the timestamps below. You can go practice up on those chords and then come back and do the tutorial. Okay, so then for the bridge, you'll need A major. We're gonna do A major seven. Hmm. F sharp minor. D, see I'll play it this way, and G. All right, once again, let's check out that chord review at the end if you need it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through each section of the song, and then we'll play each of those slowly, and then we'll do a full play along at the end. I'm also gonna show you different strumming pattern options, so you can start simple if that's where you're at, or you can add a little more rhythm if you're ready to do that. I'll talk about starting pitch, so if you're singing and playing this, you'll always know where to start. Uh, we'll take a wine break because this is ukulele wine time. Cheers. And we'll also do some counting, and I'm also going to show you a couple little ways to level up um, playing some melodies on your fretboard here if you're ready to do that to kind of show the baseline movement of this iconic song. All right, let's jump in. A few important notes about the song before we jump in. We are in the key of C and that is the original key of the original recording of this. Our time signature is 4-4, four, four, so that means our heartbeat or the pulse of the song is in four. So we count four beats per measure. And then uh, form of the song. So our form is uh, we've got a little, a little intro or that little uh, kind of melody lick there. Verse, verse, bridge, solo over the verse, another verse, and then our outro. Another way to talk about that would be if we called the verse A and we called the bridge B, the form would be A, A, B, A, A, with an outro at the end. Let's start with the verse or the A section of this song. So uh, each of these chords for the first part gets four beats. So we were talking before how we're in four, four time. So thinking about counting as we dive in. So our first four chords are C, C major seven, C seven, and then F, that's four beats each, followed by D seven, and then G. So let's check that out, putting it together with the lyrics. We'll go nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Something in the way she moves Attracts me like no other lover Something in the way she woos me to three, four. Okay, that's the first part of the verse. All right, let's um, move to the second part and then we're going to put it all together. So the second part, well, we switch to an A minor and you'll notice we have this nice little, nice, the song is full of, um, walk downs in the in the chord movement and if you if you've watched my videos you know I'm all about the walk down especially um playing bass along with this so um the next section we start with an a minor and now we've got two beats per chord so it's a minor and then a minor major seven and then open strings a minor seven and then d seven that's two beats for each of those. 
And then here's, uh, we've got that little uh, lick melody. So we've got F, da, 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 E flat, G, and back to C. So let me break that down. Let's do the first half. Let's do that A minor walk down. And then we'll do the little uh, melody. That's also the same as the intro. Take it nice and slow. Okay, so two counts each per chord here. So let's do this together. I'll put the lyrics with it nice and slow. One, two, A minor, here we go. Don't wanna leave her now. You know I believe in how. And then we're at the lick. Okay, let's do that one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I don't want to leave her now. You know I believe in how. All right, let's take a look at that lick next. Lick, melody, whatever you want to call it there. So um, this is where the... So it's F to E flat, G back to C. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. F, mm, 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 E flat, G somewhere. And then we're into verse two. All right, how y'all doing? Let's put the whole verse together nice and slow. One, two, three. Something in the way she moves Attracts me like no other lover Something in the way she woos me to be I don't want to leave her now verse two. How'd y'all do? I want to show you a couple little um, cool things to do. You're probably hearing these melodies in your head if you know this song really well. Um, I'm going to give you two little levels up here. So when we get to that first F chord, so you got something in the way she moves that tracks me like no other lover. Something. So with your F chord there, all you're gonna do, you've got F, um, like no other lover. Okay, on, and that's on beat four of that measure. You're just gonna lift up your first finger, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you that walk down sound on your chord. So you're playing your F chord one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, something. Okay, so let's try that together. Um, just that little transition there. So we've got something in the way she moves. Three, four, attracts me like no other love. She woos me. Okay, so here now is our second place to add a little something to something. So we've got our G chord, and you, you're probably hearing that dun, 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 your head. Don't want to leave her now, right? So we're going to do that on um, your A string here, on your bottom string closest to the floor, and it's going to sound like this. So you've got your normal G chord. You're going to lift up your middle finger and then put it back down and that's it. So what that's doing is that's giving you the sound of just a, a G, A, B 
And that's that kind of uh, lead up to the next section of that verse. Very simple. All you're doing is lifting a finger. So it'll sound like this. Um, let's see. Uh, Okay, so you got your G, lift, back down, four. And that's happening on beats one, two, three, four. G, lift, three, four. Don't wanna leave me now. So that's gonna help you get a little more motion. It's gonna feel really good to play it. You're like, yes, I'm, I'm catching these cool bass lines of the song. Third place to do that on the verse, and this actually is uh, great for the intro as well. Very easy movement um, with, and we're gonna use your pinky. Hey, pinky. Okay, so we've got um, that little melody. Okay. So all I'm doing there, I've got my normal F chord, standard F chord, and I'm gonna put my pinky down on the third fret of your A string. That's that melody. One, two, three, four. And then you're hitting your E flat chord. And that's it. And the chords play the rest of the melody for you. So you're playing your. So that's essentially what you're implying there. And all you gotta do is use your pinky for that. So if you're ready to add these, um, three little levels up to add a little more emotion. Um, I hope you enjoy trying those out. So that's the verse, same as verse two. The only difference is, check this out, this is important. This happens, I think, twice. Okay, so instead of going to the C after your da, 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 E flat, to go back to the verse and that's also at the very end of the song at the end of the second verse instead of going to that C it goes to an A chord so it's gonna sound like this E flat G A two three four and then we're in the bridge you're asking me okay so F that uh, we'll call this melody number two. We've got E flat, G, A, two, three, four, bridge. That's kind of our transition into the bridge. Got it? Let's check out the bridge on that note. The bridge or the B section. Okay, so we've hit that A chord there. So we've got two counts on A. And then we go to two counts or two beats of A major seven. Then we've got uh, F sharp minor. And then back to A. A, A major seven, F sharp minor, A. Two beats each. Let's just do that much together. We'll put the lyrics with it nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, Three, four. You're asking me, will my love grow? Let's do that again. I'm gonna count it for us too. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A, two, A major seven, two, F sharp minor, two, A. Again with lyrics. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. Okay, and then next section, that's our first section. Second section, we've got um, two beats on D, and then two beats on G, and then we've got A. Two, three, four. All right? D2, G2, A2, three, four. Uh, let's do that much. Let's do the first half of the bridge. Here we go. Two, three, four. You're asking me, will 
my love go I don't know I don't know two three four and then it repeats you stick around Okay, so the bridge, first and second half are the exact same except for the last chord. First half you end in an A major, second half you end in a C major. All right, that is the bridge. It goes into the solo section after that, which is the same as the verse section or our A section. So what that means is you're just gonna play through the chords of the verse the same timing um, and just no lyrics if you want to if you want to keep in that solo section um, that's what you would do there this is a good opportunity for us to count the verse section or the solo section so I'm gonna count and play this with you and I'm gonna add more downstrokes just to keep us on track here so if you'd like to do that you're welcome to join me I'll talk more about strumming patterns in a second um, but I'm just gonna do that to kind of show that pulse more here we go one two three four C two three All right, so hopefully that helps you out with the solo section and the verse section to help you just be more confident, understand, and just understanding counting just makes you a more confident musician, allows you to play more easily with other people. So we've covered all the different sections of the song at this point. So we've got the verse, we've got the bridge, we've got our F to uh, E flat to G to C, and then we've got F, E flat, G to A as well. And both of those are in the ending. Um, the one, it ends in A first, that happens first in our uh, ending or our outro, followed by the one that ends with C. So let's just run those really quickly. So we'll have done all the sections in the song um, and then we'll move on. The outro happens after that last chorus, or sorry, that last verse, um, verse four. Don't wanna leave. Here's our first one, F, E flat, G to A, two, three, four, and then F, E flat, G, and then ends on C. And that's the whole song. Let's talk strumming pattern options. So option number one, we've been doing to learn the chords, and that is to just play a simple downstroke for each chord. And that's gonna work beautifully. If that's where you're at and you're like, that's enough for me, beautiful. You're doing great. <laughs> now, if you want to um, add more rhythm from there, you can always add in more downstrokes just like we did with the counting. Um, <clears throat> so that would be one, So just adding in more downstrokes, that works great on the verse and it works great on the bridge. I've got a couple options for you if you're ready for more rhythm. So for the uh, verse, we can try down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down. 
sorry. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Got all cylinders in my brain firing, reading the chord sheet, saying the, the downs out loud. Um, okay, let me do that one more time. Um, so this is a great option for the verse. Here we go. One, two, three, let's try it out. Something in the way she moves Attracts me like no other lover Something in the way she moves me And then we're into the bridge where or the second part, we'll do something a little bit different there. Um, so that's one option. Now, what I want to say about this, is that's, that's a lot of little downs and ups, right? And the verse is kind of, it's nice and floaty. You just get that rhythm going with your wrist. If you don't play all those, or if you add uh, ups or downs in different places, and it feels and sounds good to you, that's great. You have my permission to... Uh, to find your own strumming pattern. This is just kind of a guide for you to give you an idea, but you can always switch it up. And you'll notice when we do the play along, I'm not gonna robotically do that the whole time, right? I'm gonna ebb and flow with the lyrics, um, adding some contour to the song. And I just naturally switch that up as I'm playing, as, as kind of I feel it. So I just wanna give you that um, strumming pattern formula, but then giving you permission to totally break it and find your own option. Here's another strumming pattern option for you. This one's a little bit simpler. It's just simply down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. And this will happen um, on the, you can do this on the verse. Uh, if you start the verse with this, you'll do it twice per chord for all the chords that get four beats, it's gonna sound like this. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Okay, and then when we get to the second part of the verse, this is where this pattern is very helpful. Um, when we start moving two beats per chord on the A minor walk down, we've got down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, so if um, when we've got the two beats for, per chord, it's just going to happen one time for the A minor, one time for the A minor major seven, one time for the A minor seven, one time for the D seven. Okay, cool. You've got two options when you get to the bridge. You can just simply do those pulses, the four down strokes. That's a great thing to do on the bridge. Uh, you can also do the down, 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 up. I'm sure you're hearing that walk down in your head. If you want to catch that rhythm on your A chord, that would be awesome. So that's going to be, I'm just actually playing all downs there. Down, 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 down. Okay, so if you've got that rhythm in your head, by all means, play it, rock it on that A chord. Uh, and then the only other place for the strumming patterns, um, we've just got our intro outro and I would just keep it really simple for that. You can do down, 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 or if it feels better to you to do down, down. So whichever those feels, ever of those feels better to you, I would just keep it simple for that. 
I almost forgot, I wanted to give you one additional strumming pattern option, option just for you to try out. If you'd like to try a little bit of uh, more finger picking on this song, um, it's gonna sound like this. And what I'm doing there is I'm using these three fingers on my bottom three strings and I'm pulling there and then I'm using my thumb on the top string, and that's that's it, that's the whole pattern. So it's one and two and three and four, and, and then you switch to the next chord, one and two and three, four and one. Tracks me like no other lover. And you can still add that movement in there. To that section. You can keep it going. Don't want to leave it now. No, I believe in how. Really works better for the first half of the verse, but if you want to keep it going, you can. You can experiment with that. Let me know if you try it. So if you're singing and playing, it's always great to know what your starting pitch is, how to find it on your ukulele. So for this one, we are in the key of C, and actually your starting pitch is the note C. Something, so you can play your open C string just to make sure you've got it. Uh, just a note, this came up as a question in our vocal, a recent vocal workshop that we did. Um, is the starting pitch always the same as the key? And no, it's definitely not. So this just happens to be in the key of C, and our starting pitch is C on the verses. Something in the way. And then on the B section or the bridge, you're asking me, you're actually on a C sharp. So C and then C sharp, you're asking me is just a half step above C. And a little music theory there, you're playing an A chord on the bridge. C sharp is the third, the major third of that chord. Do, me, so, me, do of your A chord. You're asking me. That should just about do it for a starting pitch. This has been, a, you've been working really hard. This is a lot of information. If you've made it this far, you are amazing. I see you out there. I wanna say cheers to you. It's time for our wine break. Um, I love this song. I've been playing this song for years. I'm delighted to teach this on the ukulele. This was actually a song that um, our members of Ukulele Wine Club voted on. They wanted me to make a tutorial of this, so I am just super psyched to be sharing this with you. And um, I was just kind of thinking about this song. It's, it's on the whole, it's not a super complicated song. It has, yes, it has a lot of chords, but the little sections, once you break it down, it's very, very doable. Um, so you can do it. The, it has more chords than perhaps a, you know, a beginner song, but um, very accessible three finger chords. It's got these nice, easy walk downs that add a lot of interest to the listener for you, enjoyment of playing it. Um, so I hope that you found this, that you're finding this tutorial helpful. If you are, I hope you cheers the like button below. Hope you subscribe for more ukulele wine time. I also thought this was such a cool song choice because George Harrison loved the ukulele. I was reading some ukulele stories about him online before making this tutorial. Um, apparently he always had a ukulele with him and he had tons of extras that he would just give out to his friends. Um, there's a story about him giving a ukulele to Tom Petty and teaching him how to play it and apparently they stayed up all night playing and the next morning Tom Petty's wrist hurt um, and George Harrison left the next morning and he, he gave him that ukulele and then four more besides because he was like, you never know when you might need an extra one. So I, I loved hearing that story. Um, also apparently, 
George Harrison would play ukulele at parties and would just totally clear the room because he would just be playing ukulele the whole time and people would be like, um, okay, I think, <laughs> I think I've had enough ukulele and they would go off to do something else. But I just, um, love how much George Harrison loved the ukulele. So the song felt really special to, um, sing and play on the ukulele. On that note, it's time for our full play along. So we're gonna do the intro, uh, which is just that little melody. We'll do verse, verse, bridge, solo, another verse, and then the outro. You'll hear me trying out those different strumming pattern options in the play along. Um, don't try to match me exactly. Please feel free to do your own thing. We're just gonna play the song together and think of it as just kind of jamming together. One, two, three, four. Something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover. Something in the way she Okay, I kind of decided last minute verse four to go into the finger picking pattern. I just wanted to throw that in there. Woo, okay. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I hope that you had fun playing that along with me. Uh, man, what a great song. If you're working on this, give yourself some kindness and patience. It's just an awesome song to have in your, um, in your repertoire and just 
please let me know if you have any questions or if you try it out. Once again, thank you so much for being here at Ukulele Wind Time. My name is Catherine. Um, I just love that you're taking time to learn this song with me today. All right, I will see you in the next video and hope you have a great day. Cheers. Ukulele Wind Time. I wanted to show you a little bonus melody. So I had talked about um, that A major chord in the bridge where were you saying, I don't know, I don't know. We did that rhythm. If you wanna play that actual melody, here's how to do that. So it's gonna be, um, okay, so you play your A chord, the A string that you played with the A chord, works as the top note of that melody, or the first note of that melody, rather. Da, and then you can use your pinky to start it. And you're on the one, two, three, the fourth fret of your E string. So open A string and then. And you've got your four fingers here, pinky, all uh, each finger gets a fret there. and then you're back to your A chord. So if you wanna experiment with adding that in, um, that's another way to add some more interest to your arrangement of something. Ukulele wine time. Here's that chord overview I mentioned. So if you need a slower walkthrough of how to play the chords in this song, you're in the right place. We're gonna start with ukulele finger numbers, one, two, three, four. And then we've got our fret numbers. One, two, three, four. Don't think we go past that for the song. Okay, so let's start with the first chord. That's a C major chord. You're gonna take your third finger, one, two, three, or your ring finger on the third fret. One, two, three of your A string. That is your C major chord. Now in this song, we've got that nice little walk down in the verse. So we've got a couple different variations of C. So as our C major, we've got C major seven. And so we're moving down the same string. That's the second finger or your middle finger on the second fret there. Okay, so that's our C major seven. Then we keep going down. You can play with your first finger, first fret. Same string, your A string for the C dominant seven or C seven. Okay, so those are our first three chords. Next, we're gonna hit up an F chord. So use your P sign fingers. This is a two finger chord. So let's do our middle finger first. That's on the second fret of your top string or your G string. Then skip a string, first fret of your E string for your F chord. And now when you're doing um, the walk down and the verse, if you choose to do that, all you're doing there is you play your F chord and then you lift up which is technically an A minor chord, but we're just showing that um, bass movement there. So you'll see that when you check out the verse. Now you're gonna keep that finger there for a D7 chord. Okay, so that's your middle finger or your second finger, second fret. Now you're gonna bring your ring finger over, skip a string, same fret, for our D7 chord. D7. What's next in the verse? Okay, we've got a G chord next. Actually, let me talk about our D chord next. Um, so we've got a D in the bridge. So for the, the D, you've got two variations. So it's, it's three fingers straight across on the second fret um, on your top three strings. You can play them with um, these three fingers or you can play them with these three fingers. I, no I normally play with these three. So that's a D major chord. So that happens in the um, bridge of the song and I don't know. That's our D chord. So you've got D7 and then you've got D. So nice to kind of see that transition there. All you're doing is taking away the middle finger or middle string. Okay, let's talk G chord next. This is a three finger chord. So it makes a little triangle on your fretboard. <clears throat> so you've got P 
Peace sign fingers, these are gonna go in the second fret on your C string and your A string. Skip a string in the middle. And then your ring finger is gonna come down. So it's a triangle with a flat part on the top and then your ring finger makes the point on the bottom there on the third fret of your E string. That is our G chord. Okay, what's up next? We've got an A minor. So this is our second finger, one, two, second fret, one, two, on your top string or your G string. It's our A minor. And then to do the A minor major seven, so this is our, our uh, one of the walk downs that happens in this song. So you've got A minor and then move your first finger, first fret, same string. That's A minor major seven. A minor, A minor major seven, and then open strings is an A minor seven chord. Okay, so those are our three A minor variations. We've got an E flat chord. So let's start with our, uh, the third fret. So we've got, we're on the middle two strings with your middle two fingers. Our fingers two and three um, on your C and your E string. Okay, so that's, the first part of the shape. And then your first finger is going to go on the first fret of your A string. It's our E flat major chord. Okay, that takes care of our verse chords. Now let's take a look at the chords in the bridge. So we're gonna start with an A major chord. It's a two finger chord. Similar shape to the F chord, just we're just one string over. So your middle finger or your second finger is on the second fret on your G string. And on the very next string over, your first finger goes on the first fret for an A major chord. Next, we have an A major seven chord. You can technically play this two different ways. Um, so you're, it's the first, uh, first fret on these top two strings and your G string and your C string. So you can play it with the middle two fingers or the first two fingers. Sometimes it kind of depends on which chord you're going to next. But I usually play it with um, my middle two fingers. So second and third or middle and ring. It's our A major chord. We've got an F sharp minor. So there's another triangle on the fretboard, so this is a good shape to um, just start kind of visualizing. It's helpful to know where to put your fingers. So there's our upside down triangle now, so the point is at the top. So I'll start, uh, let me start with our middle two fingers. So we've got our middle and ring finger on the second fret with a string in between. And then you've got your first finger, first fret on the string that you skipped. It's our F sharp minor chord. Um, I already uh, reviewed D, but just a quick, these are the bridge chords. So a D chord, you're straight across on the second fret there in your top three strings. And then you get a G chord, which we already covered. That's everything. I go over all these different um, walk downs and variations when we get into the song and the verse and the chorus, or verse and the bridge. Um, so I'm excited for you to try that. All right, I hope you found that helpful and I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Ukulele wine time.